how did you go about adapting this? It, after all, it is a very, very difficult and tough account of, of, a, of a very difficult and failed expedition, really. Yeah, so it, it started with uh, me reading a book that Marcus Luttrell, who is the lone survivor, wrote. And when I threw my hat in the ring and asked to direct it, I told him I would learn as much as I could about the culture of Navy SEALs. I spent a year in the U.S. traveling and living with different SEAL platoons. Uh, and then uh, about three years ago, I went to Iraq and was able to embed with a Navy SEAL platoon for one month up by the Syrian border. And by the time uh, I, I came back from Iraq and had spent that time with the soldiers, I felt like I was ready to take it on. How did you translate that experience in practical terms and into the film? Um, well, it, it, you know, the Navy SEALs, like all special ops here in, in, uh, in, in England, are a very unique crew and they're very private. And it, it's not easy for them to, to, to crack that culture and for them to trust outsiders, particularly members of the media. Mm -hmm. So that, that time spent researching forged trust and, and friendship and my time with Marcus Luttrell forged a, lo a lot of goodwill and I was able to slowly start to write that script and while we made the film we had a group of Navy SEALs who were on the set with us every day making sure we didn't mess it up as they said they used harsher words than that uh, <laughs> but they made it clear to me that if if uh, we didn't get it right they wouldn't be happy and neither would the families of the 19 soldiers who were killed. My, my experience reading Marcus Luttrell's book was to be able to divorce myself from the politics of the war, which is not easy to do. You know, every film about Iraq or Afghanistan tends to be, you know, very polarizing. And if you're for it, you support the film. If not, you rip it apart. Marcus Luttrell's book kind of said, well, just, just put, put your personal views on whether we should ever have gone into Afghanistan aside and just look at the quality of man that's out there and that how, what, what wonderful men these are and how much love they have for each other and what a strong brotherhood they have. And let's, let's take some time out of our days and let's turn off the TV, let's turn off the phones, and let's just acknowledge that we are countries, the U.S., and, and the UK have been at war for quite some time. We've lost some wonderful men and women, and let's just pay tribute to the power of this, this brotherhood. There is a very important moment where they have a very strong, difficult moral dilemma, really. The, the Navy SEALs were on an operation. They were up in the mountain, and they were discovered by some civilians. And they knew that if they let those civilians go, the civilians would alert an army, and there was a good chance they would be killed. So they had a very complicated decision to make, and I... I was under no pressure from anyone to do anything than sort of tell the, tell the facts, present the facts as Luttrell did. And it was a very confusing um, and, and tough decision for these men to make. There was a series of bad choices and they had to try and figure out what the least bad was. And, and they actually, I think, made the most moral decision possible. And the, pr the price they paid was, was very, very severe. And that was w one of the aspects of this story that I found so interesting. Inevitably, be people watching today will say very strongly to you and in a very forthright way, it is, in effect, despite what you say, kind of glorying warfare and glorying the kind of conflict that has been, as you say, hugely controversial. So how did you approach the production in a way which you think will, will, would, would answer that? Well, you know, I think um, that, that any honest look at war, it's, it's very hard to find a way to glorify war. War is horrible. War is hell. War is, is a vile, nasty violent proposition and for anyone to talk about glorifying that I, I don't quite understand how you can glorify that uh, I think you can find glory in human character in the spirit of these men but uh, uh, people thinking that lone, lone survivor or arguing that lone survivor is somehow pro-war which I've never met any human being that's actually pro-war when 19 out of 20 men were killed uh, it's just it's not the case it's um, if anything a very honest look at the horrors of war and at the cost we pay when we decide to send our our best uh, and brightest young men and women into that into that kind of an environment